Hi there, Leo. This is uh, the horoscope. Your transits for the month of May 2013. I'm Dedeji from astrology.com.au and I want to uh, alert you to the fact that there's a very significant transit this month. Uh, actually, it's a, a solar eclipse. And that is taking place uh, in your career sector, in the sign of Taurus. And from the second of this month, we had Mercury move there very, very powerfully. So a lot of communication surrounding money, finances, and communications with your employers. People that mean something in your life in terms of the business sense. So don't hold off any of those uh, interesting meetings that you have, or need to have, rather, uh, particularly if you're feeling a little bit nervous about that. You know, the eclipse will throw you a curved ball here. You've got the opportunity to either uh, do or not do. Now, if you don't do something about the situation, particularly if you're uncomfortable, uh, particularly if you're nervous or, you, or, or you're being controlled by a psychopathic employer, <laughs> then things are going to stay the same. Okay? Um, I love that saying, uh, without deviation there is no progress. So you need to deviate from what you're doing right now. And these eclipses and transits in your career sector show exactly that. that this is an interesting uh, time frame from the 10th, which is when that eclipse takes place, up until the 25th when we see a, uh, a lunar eclipse there in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's important because that's the, the other fire sign, one of the three fire signs. So when the fire signs are involved here, definitely uh, elementally will, will affect you. So this is a double whammy for you. Firstly, the eclipse in your career sector and then the lunar eclipse influencing your sun sign from the sign of Sagittarius. That has a lot to do with your emotional energy. So I would suggest that if you can deal with the solar eclipse first, offload a lot of that stuff that's, that's potentially going to really weigh you down and become explosive, then you're going to be able to diffuse that uh, circumstance around the 25th, emotionally speaking. You need to decompress that situation on the work front. There's a nice transit there on the 21st, though. That's your ruling, uh, your ruling uh, point, the sun. Moving into the area of fulfillment, uh, that's a lot of networking with friends. Uh, you can use your friends at this time to, you know, as allies to carry you across the line at this time. You needn't do it all by yourself. A few more allies will help you this month. That takes place on the 21st. The, the troublesome aspect there on the 26th is the uh, sun's hard aspect to Neptune. This is from the 11th house to your 8th house. 11th house is profits, 8th house is loans and debts. That you have to be careful of. You may be uh, really doing things on an impulse. Your intuition may not be so good around that time. So I would be strongly recommending a balance between the head and the heart on that date or leading up to around the 26th. Uh, nice aspects for you though, uh, on the 27th, the 29th, uh, you've got the Mercury and Venus conjunction to Jupiter. That's extraordinarily lucky. Some big opportunities will take place. Your networking will pay off. And if you take my advice on those earlier meetings that need to be had in your uh, workplace, then it's likely you'll get maybe some pay rise or some new opportunity to showcase your talents. Look forward to your company next month again here as usual. Um, in the meantime, astrology.com.au, my website, is offering a, a more in-depth uh, synopsis of the monthlies, yearly overview so you can contextualise where you're at, and then of course the daily readings in which uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, every month come to uh, get. Look forward to seeing you there and here again next month. Bye for now.